Veteran trapper Tom Orr and his wife Nancy have lived off the land in the Yak Valley for more than four decades. This is an old skid road in here. But this winter, they're battling an urgent threat to their food supply. They love to walk on these roads. The coyote population is exploding across the Yak, and with predators on the rise, the game animals that Tom and Nancy survive on are getting harder to find. Deer population's going down because of the, the coyotes. Today, Tom and Nancy's mission is to check the traps they've set on the perimeter of their property. If we can keep the predator population down, the deer population will hopefully jump back up. You got a set here? Yeah. Traps buried right oh, there. I see. I don't see no coyote. I don't go on the trap line a whole lot, but we're getting kind of old, so uh, snow's slipperier and logs are higher to get over, and so we help each other out. You can just set that right here. This trap's been set in for about a week now, so I'm gonna relure it. With so much coyote activity in the area, an empty trap is a bad sign that the coyotes are onto Tom's tricks, so he's doubling down on the lure. Coyotes are real spooky, they're real spooky critters. Hard to get them to come into something like this. But any coyote coming down this trail will be able to smell the scent. Whether we'll fool him enough to come into it, that's the chance you take when you're a trapper. We got more traps. Lead oh. on, baby. Here we go. All right, I got another one just right up here a bit. <laughs> Nancy, we got one. We got one. All right. We got a coyote, a nice one, too. I've been trapping for 50 years, and it still gives me a thrill. Now you got work to do. <laughs> the catch isn't just good for the deer population. It's also good for Tom's bottom line. Once it's processed, the coyote pelt can be sold for a good payday. The big thing with coyotes, you want to try to skin them the same day you catch them. They've got real bad intestines and they start bloating real fast after they're dead. All right, right here we let's go. go. Two coyotes are just a drop in the bucket when it comes to stemming the predation problem. But in the hands of a master craftsman like Tom, their pelts have added value. I'm going to turn this and start doing some combing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Tom can make $100 for a raw fur, and even more if he turns the pelt into a craft. See, what we're doing is we're skinning these toe bones out all the way to the claw. Tom caught this coyote last week, so we skinned it and we tanned it, and, and then you go to Coleman to make it be as pretty as it can be. Okay, this one's combed. Good job. Thank you. Make you some coffee. How's that? All right, that sounds good. Don't cut any holes. Okay, that's it. Tom's technique requires precision but he's also racing the clock. The longer the hide remains on the body, the greater the chances it will rot. All right. And now we're gonna hang this up, and we're gonna finish skinning out the rest of it here. This is what's called a, a cased skin. You cut down the hind leg and pull all that hide all the way off like you would a T-shirt. But the moment of truth comes when he reaches the midsection around the gut. This part of the belly right here is just starting to turn a little bit green already. I mean, you wouldn't have wanted to wait 24 hours to do it. <laughs> the hide isn't damaged, which means Tom can use the pelt for one of his high-priced crafts. Salting, it pulls the moisture out of the leather, and it makes it accept the tanning solution much better. It's hard to believe that this used to look like that. All right, we're going to take this to the house and we're going to make a hat out of it. The labor it takes to make the hat increases the value of the fur fivefold. We're going to draw it out on here and then we're going to cut it out of the hide. This is nylon thread, and we wax it. Now, when you pull that up tight, the wax will actually seal the spot. All right, I got it. 
Oh, you got it. The most distinctive part of the hat is the tail. We're going to mount the tail on the back of the hat, and I'm going to bend this over, and I'm going to sew this into a loop. The final step is to sew all the pieces together with a rawhide brim and soft felt liner. Okay. Liner. I've got some of these remains left that I'm going to make a fur hat band. You want to race? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm getting closer. Uh-oh, he's got the scissors. <laughs> Let's see it on you. What about a couple of furry old folk we are? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there seems to be a lot of coyotes out there still. Their population is kind of hard to control, but at least I can make money off the fur that I catch. Go start supper if you'll bring some wood in. I gotta get firewood too. Yes. You ready? Uh, I'm ready. Yeah. 